Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the layout. All right, so continuing on from the last update, done a little bit of work back here, took some of the suggestions that were given by the viewers and have incorporated them into the area. I just did some, as you saw, some test running. Still got a little more cleaning to do, but things are working okay. My little buddy here, PRR9249, just brought in the a load here, and I could do so much more weathering, but anyway, it was fun. That's just a, a chooch load slapped onto a red caboose flat car and some other boxes there, but anyway. All right, so a couple things that were done. First of all, it may look, first of them off, first off, <laughs> may look a little bit brighter. What I decided to do back in this area, since it's kind of a neat little scene, I added another panel light over this area to get some light to it and that's gonna help I think with this area and then also you know kind of right below it this will be the engine service area so that kind of is gonna help get some more illumination back in that whole area everything else looks pretty good I might add one more down in the yard a little bit but we'll get to that later they're very they're pretty easy to add in so alright so some details were in here I did add plates there on the piggyback dock those are actually details west I like them it looked a little bit better I thought than the just square little hunks of plastic that came with the kit so I ordered those and painted them up and I had to increase the notch here slightly and a little dab of super glue and, and there they are so they're actual piggyback ramps so I got those in now there's the little uh, office. That's a Blair Line scale shed. Uh, CNO prototype, but it looked like a nice little cool little office. So went ahead and got that built up quick and weathered up, and that's sitting there. That's just sitting there right now. Oh, earthquake! Um, I think it seems like a decent spot for it. We'll see. I added one more light over here. And then that light, that's why I put it there. I figure that light helps illuminate the office door. These are both, they're not glued in in case I don't like them. I can pull them back out, but they're in. Um, what else did I do here? Oh, I made this nice little incoming power distribution block here. Let me get some better light on that. That's a showcase miniatures kit that I actually... <laughs> Very carefully, and I'm surprised I'm not insane. I don't know how well it's going to show up, but uh, I actually added some of the wire. It's not perfect. On the high side, I actually did. I don't know if that'll focus on that, but I did make the delta on the high side. I added the lines here on the very top, and then on the low side, I didn't make. I didn't bring the neutral down. It just—it's so tedious. I brought three lines down. I don't know if you can see. Then there's a conduit that runs over into that little building there. Being at the bottom is white. Cause I'd seen that on some pictures of railroad yards. The bottom of the poles seem to be painted white. Probably so you don't go smashing into them. All right, so I got that added. What I think I'm going to do then is from here, probably run it to a pole line. Maybe put one here, one here. Maybe move up the the way there. Maybe go all the way in front and then over by that retaining wall there. You know, put one pole right by the um, the backdrop so I can actually run the wires. And that should be safe, I think, once I get everything cleaned up that they won't be reaching in there to do a whole lot of work. I got some KD uncouplers. I'm thinking of putting back in here. I tried them. They seem to be okay but again it's gonna be hard to reach back there and I never have much luck I don't know maybe it's just me but you know using the old standby skewer with a wire nut I never seem to go to uncouple them even by hand I mean, when I brought this car in I had to actually uncouple it by reaching in which is not gonna be possible before so I'm hoping if they're there you know you do a little, little magnetic deal and then just push it up and it works so we'll see 
All right, so that, some of the work being done back here. So all the lights do work. What I decided to do, the track feeders, oh, obviously they work. <laughs> um, I took them off these, these switches and just run them direct in. Then I stole this switch here to use for the lights, which I don't know if it's going to show up. Let me see if I can make this darker on purpose. I don't know if the lights will show up a little bit better, but they are all lit. And those down there are lit. And the dock is lit. These, um, again, I know it's dark, but I'm trying to see if the lights are going to show. Yeah, probably not. All right, so. Oop, wrong way. They don't look all that bright. I may try to redo them with LEDs. And in fact, this one doesn't even work now, but <laughs> just my luck. But the other ones all work, so. I don't know, I could try to pop the lights off. I don't know if it would show up, but ah, we'll try for fun in a moment. And then the other things I did, just doing more ballasting up here through the yard. It seemed about three quarters of the way. So I'll just keep keep plugging away at this. This is really tedious. But well, I'll just keep working on this. Trying to get all that done. I mean, I'm getting close. It just I just hate doing it. So I just ugh. I would try to work in sections and then take a break and then come back and do it a couple days later. So you can see at least the main line is a little bit more visible there. And I still got to do this this side with the south yard. I think I'm going to do more with cinders. That's a coal yard, at least in this era. So I'll try to make it look like it's that typical, you know, black cinder or coal. On this side, it's more dirt and some rough ballast and whatnot, because it's not really a coal yard on this side. I still need some weeds and other paraphernalia. And I'm going to keep working up the side, so keep jamming away on that. So that's just a quick update. Let's just, I don't know, I'll turn the light off and see if we can see these lights. It, it, it may not show up, but we'll go to Whirl. There you can see the lights, the uh, piggyback area lights, the dock lights. I know it's dark. I mean, I'm not sure how it's going to show up until I get it into post. <laughs> And those little lights on that, that little light there back by the the back. Ooh, that's hard to see. So overall, I think it looks okay. At least it gives the people working the ramp some decent light. And probably would have more light back in this area here by the gantry, but uh, we'll see. Dock lights, those LED looks look pretty nice. Like I said, these darn things are so dim. And the other one's already either burned out or... The wires are so darn small, they're hard to get connected. So I might have to fiddle with it a little bit underneath the layout. But. Okay. So that is our piggyback, piggyback area and work area there getting lit up. All right. All right, more to come as we move forward here. All right, back here at the east end of Eugene. This is all setting up here. You can see we're making some progress. I got to do a lot of cleanup back there. <laughs> I rolled some cars along, and it sounds like it's going through, you know, potato chips in the field or something. <laughs> Walking through leaves. So I'm down to here. You can see all the uh, paraphernalia. The next big thing to you know, allow me to really finish this, I need to get this crossover in. So I thought, well, hey, look. If I'm going to do this, man, let's do it. Either go big or go home, right? So... What I did do, because I needed to know if I could save these crossovers, because if I can't, I have to make new ones. But, I was able to get them out. So, this crossover, this right hand, will actually go over by the factory, off the new interchange at a staging. And the left hand... This is going to be right up there at the other end of Eugene, so they can cross over and get into the south yard from the other track. So, these came out okay. I was a little nervous, but I was able to get them out. Here's the other number eight that also came out. That was, that was up here when I went to the old factory. And I was thinking, you know, if I do this, I'm dead. I can't run trains. I'm like, no, you're not. You're Rob. You're an idiot. Just 
I'll just lay some temporary straight track here and we're back in business on the main line. So that should work. This needs a little bit of cleanup. But the next big step is get these bad boys back to the uh, Santa's workshop for some TLC, some cleanup, and then uh, actually even want to get this one installed. That's for later, but I'll get it cleaned up. Did lose some of the wood ties. I'm not too concerned about that. I think all the PCB board ties stayed in shape. Everything looks good. So let's get them cleaned up and see if we can get these bad guys and stir at least this one installed so I can really seriously, you know, I'm serious folks, really finish the Eugene Yard. Well, okay, I still got to work on this side, but at least get all that stuff done. All right, let's see if I can get these uh, whipped up and ready to go in shape. In place, in place. Ooh, getting close, getting close. All right, so I was able, like I said, I got the uh, extracted crossover. It's over in the workbench. It's all cleaned up. Prepped up. I had to re-glue on some of the wood ties that fell off, so they're sitting there under some plyo bond. For the moment, over here, everything's pretty much ready. So I got everything cut. Got rail joiners here. I got that filled in because that's that's where the crossover will be. I got insulated joiners there. This was this is a power district gap, so there's a double gap there. I got the holes drilled for the tour tie and they're ready to go there they are they're sitting there I got the terminal board mounted underneath for the wires so we're getting close so I'm just gonna grab some supper and then hopefully things dry up I'm gonna put a quick uh, coat of gray dark gray on that so it covers up just so no white shows through and gives any light or you know loose spots or areas on the ballast that are missing and then we're gonna get this puppy in get it uh, glued down a little bit and then once it's setting in I'll go underneath and I'll measure with my little gauge there for the throw bars for the tortoises get them all up and mounted and installed and maybe by tomorrow I have this actually done I'm not sure I'm gonna power it yet but one step at a time getting close actually getting close to having almost this entire side I'm not gonna say done but the track done so I can continue on working again with the goodies there. So, all right, more to come as uh, hopefully before too long, this is actually done and installed. Well, so we got us a crossover here. Everything's in. This little guy sometimes will stall on the frog because the frogs aren't powered yet, but it's in, it's down. All the feeders are in. I'm just making sure there's no short circuits or anything crazy like that going on. So there's the, the new crossover here at the end of Eugene. This allows access to the south yard from the other track now. And I better stop him or he's going to run into a bunch of other stuff up there. So, All right, so... Pardon me, as I drone over here and stop him. So like I said, this is in. I still got to power the frogs. Everything is pretty much in, and I'll get the ballast in. And see, now I can finish this whole area. I can even get this road. Get the road in here, into the parking lot, right up to here. I'm probably going to have a tower right here, right in the middle of the interlocking there, just because I want to. So you can see now there's the dual crossover action East and Eugene Yard yeah. so alright that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be so I'll get everything done here and ballasted, I guess I'll go ahead and get this put up because the next step will be ballast and then I want to get all of this you know done in here, I'm really trying to push to get this side complete and then decide if I want to rip and tear to the uh, <laughs> Uh, into the factory side. All right, so there we go. Able to salvage an old crossover, not old, uh, existing crossover. Get it in place and get our operational ability up to snuff here at Eugene Yard. 
Okay, one last thing. I went ahead and wired that crossover up. It's not, it certainly is not perfect. What I did was I brought the wires back to this panel. Now this panel is going to have to change drastically. Because <laughs> basically it's almost all wrong now up in this area. But, put a toggle switch there. Added some drafting tape. It's I know it looks horrible, but at least now you can you can throw the turn out. Because if I go ahead and give this little guy a, a whirl here, we should hear the nice grind of the tortoise. Yeehaw! All right, so at least we can do that. So now I can get all the ballasting done, get everything pretty much set up. So, and one final note before we close here. I actually noticed, I was kind of surprised, we're actually sneaking up on 10,000 subscribers, which is, I'm absolutely amazed, so I want to thank everyone for subscribing and watching. Here's what, here's what I'm going to say. If I actually hit 10,000, we'll do a little special episode, maybe do a reveal and all that kind of fun stuff, and if anyone's got any uh, burning questions out there they'd like to ask, we'll go ahead and answer them, anything, whatever you want to ask. Well, model rarity related, I guess. Um, you know, since it'll be 10,000, we'll do a little, uh, you know, question and answer. Some of the newer folks might wonder, you know, why is this guy's voice so raspy? Why is his layout only single level, not double level? You know, whatever. Whatever questions come up, throw them down there in the comments. I probably won't answer them all right now, uh, but go ahead and put them down there. I'll accumulate them all, and we'll do a, a special 10,000 subscriber video to uh, answer all those questions and Maybe some other special stuff, too. Who knows? We'll see. That's if we get there. We're sneaking up on it, but we'll see. So, questions? We want to see anything you want answered? Throw them down there in the comments of this video. And then if we ever hit uh, the 10K number, we'll do a little special show. So, all right, everybody. Going to get this one up and posted. Thanks for watching. And then uh, back to work here. Going to finish this ballast up and get the scenery done. Well, not done. <laughs> Further along here on the Eugene side. And then decide what's next. So stay tuned, folks. More to come.